Uh, Diego, are you losing customers online? What's your take on that? Do you know which customers you're losing? I do. Now there's different, there's different levels of losing, I would say, in our business. There's people that were considering buying the device and didn't buy it. And there's people that after they purchase the device are buying consumables, like the seats and the nutrients, and they stop buying that. And I think those are two very different things to manage. We know the ones that are we, on the consumables since we have an app. We know who's planting and not buying from us. And out of that, we can assume that they're buying from someone else. Um, and then since they're using our platform and they're using our app, it's relatively easy to communicate with them and try to re-engage them. So finding a, a variety that they want or finding the right uh, bulk pricing or finding the right package and presentation uh, is some of the things that we're working on that side. On the side of if you're ready or not to buy a device of this level of sophistication, I'd say there's two groups. One is at the very beginning of the year, we were ramping, very, ramping up very quickly with schools. Now, and this is something that schools were dying over. Uh, this, is, this, this is a great device to teach kids about the life cycle. Uh, kindergarten teach about the life cycle and high school kids about chemistry and, and plant sciences. And with COVID, schools shut down. They're not doing any capital investment and in equipment for the classroom because there might not be a classroom for another number of months. Um, so we lost them in terms of customer customers that we were acquiring. Uh, it's starting to ramp up again, but I don't think it's going to be nearly as fast as it was at the beginning of the year. And part of what we're doing is we're working on what other versions of this or what, what add-ons could we build around it uh, to enable teachers to do remote while also using a device like this or while also using our device to increase the quality of teaching. Mm -hmm. I think the other segment of customers are people that are trying to start to garden and they wanna learn about gardening and they wanna take their first step at it. Uh, I honestly do believe that we're a great product for that. But some people don't feel comfortable with making a, our cheapest product is $550. And that might be okay to start a hobby for some people. That might not be okay for some other people. And if you're not there, you're not there. We don't want you to feel that you're spending this crazy high amount of money, which again, for some people it is, for some people it isn't. Uh, and set your expectations in a place where we're not, we're not going to be that company, right? Cool. We're, our product is gonna make it super easy for you, but it's not zero work. Because gardening is work. And everyone that has ever gardened knows that it's work and you need to enjoy doing the work. Sure. Um, and going back to what you said in the beginning about customer centricity, we're learning what each of these other customers that we're not acquiring professionally uh, or that we're not great at acquiring really need and then designing something for them and creating something for them. We're gonna launch, uh, we're calling it the personal garden, which is a way smaller version of this garden. Um, it's a ninth of the size of what you're seeing right here. And it takes 20 seconds to assemble. It has the same level of growth. It, the ticket is half or less than the cheapest version of this bigger size garden. And we hope that with that one, we can attract um, the not so proficient gardeners and the people that are more interested in exploring gardening as an opportunity and want a low ticket item to do that or have a constrained space. Sure. Um, for the teachers, we're creating this site product that, that we will sell in a bundle with a garden, which is, we're calling it a planter jar, but it's basically a mason jar sure. with an adaptation, a 3D printed adaptation so that the teachers can start the plants in the classroom. And then the, when the kids come to pick up stuff from school, as they're doing right now, uh, they take their plant home with them. 
Okay. And, and then the, you can do online classes, each one with their plants. Very nice. Very nice. Interesting. Interesting. 